The State Fair of Texas is adding a new safety measure this year for minors with public safety as the priority. All right, so starting at 5 p.m., minors will not be allowed into the fair without somebody at least 21 years of age or older with them. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joining us now with the details and also to talk about the reason for the change. Alex. Hi guys, you know, I'm told that this is a new safety policy that's being implemented at fairs all across the country. And in fact, it's happening at popular malls like North Park uh, here in Dallas as well. Now the goal, according to a spokesperson, is not to exclude people from the fair, but to make sure it is a fun and safe experience for everyone. As folks enter the State Fair of Texas this year, some will notice a big change in policy as they approach the entry gates. You'll come in and you will be stopped by a safety team member after okay. 5 p.m. and they will check that chaperone's ID. Carissa Condoyanis is the Senior Vice President of Public Relations. Beginning this year, all minors age 17 and under must be accompanied by a parent, guardian, or chaperone who is 21 or older when entering the fair after 5 p.m. How you will have your ID checked by our safety team members for that chaperone that is with those minors. The safety team members who are all retired police officers will be in marked shirts. Once inside the fairgrounds, the chaperone is not required to remain with the minors. However, the state fair encourages that they stay in communication with each other and be aware of their location on the fairgrounds during the visit. This isn't to limit people coming and having a great time at the fair. We just, as our number one priority, is to have a safe state fair of Texas and we feel that this is the next measure that we can put in place to ensure that we are creating that safe environment for all of our fairgoers. Kondoyanis says safety team members will not be checking IDs once people are inside, but added that. We do have officers in plain clothes and in uniform um, so that we have them circling the grounds and just watching for suspicious behavior. That also means watching for potential disruptors like the ones who went charging through the fairgrounds on a Friday night last year, causing panic and shutting down operations an hour early. Anyone, including adults who violate the fair's code of conduct, will be told to leave. Condoyanis believes this policy is the best course of action to enhance the existing safety measures for all fairgoers, vendors, and employees. There will be, I'm sure, some growing pains as we get it implemented the first weekend, but, you know, we just hope for everybody's patience as we roll out this new policy because, again, it's really just to have a safe environment out here at the fair for 24 days. And it's also worth noting that that chaperone can only accompany up to six minors under the age of 17. I'm also told a new safety feature uh, implemented this year as well. The fair is going to be using what's called an open gate screening system, which should help move folks through security more quickly. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you.